Well, Where well, the heck are we? Well. We're not in Kansas anymore, that's what I'll tell you. We don't have a clue where we're going. Don't have an, any idea where we're going. We have spent hundreds of hours in theme parks in Central Florida. But I can tell you with confidence one thing. They've never been on this property because this is not Disney World property. Since we've been here. Since we've been here. We've been here each once before. We are at Universal Studios. But we're just going to City Walk tonight. We're gonna get like, to eat with some of our friends and kind of check out the uh kind of check out what's going on because we don't know anything yeah so there will be no tips and tricks in this video <laughs> there will be confusion weird looks and lots of going what are we doing here and here we are i see islands of adventure right there makes me really want to get our passes here and go but we have to learn just like how we know disney springs like the back of our hands we got to learn this there's some cool stores here. I think there's a BK Lounge somewhere. Can we go in some stores? Yeah. It's like we're waiting to see them. We don't, we don't, we literally aren't going anywhere. We're not going anywhere except for dinner. And we don't know where we are. Yeah. Except I do remember, I think some cooler stores are over there. And I kind of want to see two sums in person, finally. Okay. Devin Jones and to see and or go into two, two sums ever since we have. There's a lot. I think the parks are closing. I think so. I don't, we don't know Universal. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, what do you, how do you feel so far? It feels weird. It does feel weird. We decided to just dive right in into the full immersion. We went right into the Universal store. Yeah. And it is something else. It's an experience. Oh. This is where she's gonna start warming up. I'm not cold. I know, you're not. I think I'm just like more giddy about it than you. So, I'm just jittery over here. I know what I want for my birthday. <laughs> I want a whole set. I want a wand, a broom, and a cloak. <laughs> but don't worry, because tomorrow, you know what I'm gonna say tomorrow? Something different. Something different. Well, that was something else. This is super wide open. This is super wide open. There's like so much going on, good food, entertainment. You can see everything, which is just funky. Like imagine if like Magic Kingdom was there and you can see it, and you can see Epcot. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like a weird. It's just different, and I like it. And we're going here to Antojitos to have dinner tonight. We're going further away from Tusums. <laughs> That's what I'm most excited about going to. Me too. I, I want a milkshake before dinner. You want a milkshake before dinner? Isn't dinner soon? Are we doing? Are we meeting up at seven? Yeah. Just go with the flow. Yeah. Here's the lighthouse for Islands of Adventure, and I really like this idea. And I feel like I've never seen something like this before. It's in front of the park, so we're not even in the park. And here are all the heights for all of the attractions that you that have height restrictions, which is super nice for families with little ones. What's the some Chocolate Emporium. Food and spirits. And look, at there's like a character right there. Dressed up in all the steampunk. This is right up your alley. It is. We'll definitely be back. Yes. If not tonight. I don't know. Maybe they're, maybe they're on vacation mode and we're just going to go along. We'll see. Well, here we are. Look at this. We are at... Tusum's Chocolate Emporium. Oh my gosh. We're here with, with C. Sean Vlogs right here with his family. Look at this. <gasps> so put on this little hat. Come on, it goes with your outfit. <laughs> How many people's heads have you? You now have lice. <laughs> oh, look at this. What is that? Does it say? Sour orange liquid can. That is, this is all like 700 cavities are right here. That's all that is. Stiletto. And look at these little like pieces of gold that I think are just chocolates, but it look like little gold and silver rocks. Hey, how are you liking this? You're the chocolate fiend. She hasn't seen the, the case of the food. Ooh. Look at all like, the steampunk stuff. There's an octopus. 
I think I would look good on the right, the hat on the right. And then over here is the real prize. Oh my god. There's gears. It's a truffle cake. These are like zebra domes, but they're artisan cupcakes. This looks delicious. So over here on this portion is like the entire like gift shop. Very fitting. Very fitting. And then on the other side, we actually have the restaurants and everything else on it. And in there too. Oh my god, that looks so cool. We have to come back here. Fish. So cute! Well, it's much later now, and that's because we went and had dinner with uh, Sean from Sea Sean Vlogs and his family. They're leaving Orlando tomorrow to finish off the last part of their holiday down in Miami. So they started in Vegas almost two weeks ago. So, and we're very lucky to have met them, and very, yeah, very wonderful time. Yeah, both times we hung out with them were were a blast. So, yeah. thank you again, guys. By the time you watch this, you'll probably have been like home for like three weeks by now. So it was great. It was great hanging out with you. We're gonna come visit them next time because now that we live down here, we can go on those kind of vacations. But we decided to take a quick lap around City Walk because we really didn't get a chance, and I don't think either of us realized how large this place is. No. And to be honest, the last time I was here, I did Islands of Adventure only because that was in 2010 when. Uh, Harry Potter World first opened, and then I did City Walk, but I've never actually seen the Universal Studios, like Big Globe. The Globe and the gates, and we gotta go do it. What'd you just say? I said I've seen this so many times in vlogs. I'm not a Four Nights person, but I will watch them occasionally. Well then just like Tim and Jen and other, other people's vlogs coming to Universal. I'm having like a major flashback right now to when I went to Horror Nights in 2011. Like we stood in line like right... We were in line like right here. I, I want to go so bad. I really hope I end up going this year. Sarah will... Sarah refuses to go. She will not go with me to, you will not go with me to Horror Nights. No. So I'm hoping that Kristen will come with me because I don't want to go by myself and I don't have any other friends down here, but I might go by myself if Kristen won't go with me. It's so funny that that's just like the park is right there. I know, Sarah's having a hard time thinking about how the park is right there and that, that lighthouse right there is the other park. It's giving you flashbacks to Disneyland almost, right? Yeah. Them being so close. It's very much like that. So we are right in front of the Universal Globe and that right there is one of the only two attractions I've ever been on. The Drip Ride Rocket, I've been on that and then I went on uh, Mummy. The Mummy. And I've only been on the, the Dragon's Roller Coaster that just is taken down right now and the Hogwarts Ride. So I was there like literally the third day it opened so everything was like multiple hours. So. My little sister declared it the worst day of her life. That's a little dramatic. <laughs> moral I want to go back to make better memories. Yes, and more of the story is I never thought I'd hear that out of her mouth. What? That you'd want to go, like, ecstatically want to go back to Universal. But as soon as we can uh, get things straight and get our annual passes set up with uh, the resident Florida plan that they have, 
we're gonna get. I, I feel like we're gonna end up coming here enough to really to really know it very well. Like we, because Harry Potter's here and because of a lot of the other rides, I have like a, a connection, like a I, um, a liking to that. I think we'll give it a really good chance. Yeah. It is super. The theming in front of Islands of Adventure is super cool. It's very. I mean, it's extremely different than anything I've ever seen at Disney World or Disneyland. But like, it's cool because like that's the park right there. It's closed, and I'm just right here. Two Sums is right over there. Universal Studios is over there. And look at here's here's the lighthouse right there. Sarah already pointed out. I didn't have the camera up, but Sarah pointed out she this music, the area music right here is just wonderful. I'm like. If I wasn't excited before about getting a pass and wanting to, like I really want one. What? I think I think Sarah wants one too. What? A pass. Yeah. We really gotta get to get in these parks. We were just talking like, cause Sarah's like, we're really big on the themes and like, Sarah's like, so is it just a bunch of islands? Like, are the different lands the different islands and are those the different themes? Which that's what it is. Like, as long as it's a good theme, we love it. Yeah. So. And like, listen to this music. Robert. See, like, I told you. It's not any. It's, I don't think it's from anything. I don't but think like, so either. Imagine like how I feel when I walk into Epcot and I hear that music. I know that people hear this music and have that same feeling. And we gotta give that respect. <laughs> yeah. I it's love like, this lighthouse okay, like, too. I've never seen it on before. Me neither. It's more of just an oddity to be here. It isn't like a, a negative feeling in any way. It's just it's interesting when you just have never done something before. And it's like so close to something that you done a ton. I know. And it's a similar like genre, like completely immersive theme. Tyler just made a miracle happen and he made our, our dog's <coughs> tail wag, which never happened before. He's over here being like true Chicago watching the Cubs. So you know, no, he wants to play. Watching the Cubs hours later. Because it is one in the morning and I need to go he to bed. It. He literally put bed. a tape in our VCR. Yeah, or it's no, DVR on his iPad from his home. <laughs> I just punched Sarah. <laughs> it's late. We bought our Star Wars tickets. We're going to Disney Springs at midnight showing. Real 3D. Real 3D TV. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Tyler? Good night, everyone. I love you. No, come on, say it. What, am I, what do I say? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>